Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this look. I have a bunch of like new luxury beauty that, that I wanted to try out with you all. So Charlotte Tilbury sent me a package. I'm like trying out some of the new lip products. This like burgundy mascara that a lot of people have been talking about, but Victoria Beckham also sent me some products. And I also wanted to sprinkle in some items from my collection, like pull in some more expensive products that I always repurchase. A lot of the makeup that I'm wearing today, I feel like is very wedding focused. Like I can see this being really useful for upcoming like wedding guest makeup, wedding makeup, you know, wedding party makeup, all of that good stuff. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda. I absolutely love testing makeup on my channel and that's really my focus. I love to find absolutely beautiful makeup that makes you excited to use it. Um, and that's kind of the goal here on my channel. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, and if you do enjoy the video, I would love for you to subscribe and come back. And with all of that, let's jump in. I'm first using a product that I absolutely do think is worth the money, which is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. This is, you know, primer in general. We all know how it is so hotly debated, I think, and always will be, you know, whether or not a specific primer is really worth it. I don't think whether it is marketed as a primer is as much of a concern to me. What I'm looking for is the performance. So performance wise, I need my skin to look smoother. It needs to be hydrated and also makeup needs to sit very beautifully on top of it. So I don't really care if it's a skincare product. I don't care if it's um, a makeup primer. One thing I do know is that this is one of the best prep products that I've ever used in my life. Um, and even though it is more expensive, I consistently buy it. I always have backup. I have backup upstairs. I know so many of you that have tried it and have really, really loved it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna just like kind of highlight the face from under just because, I don't know, I feel like I need to do a little bit of like a more glowy makeup look today. I am actually heading to the airport like pretty soon here. I don't know what I'm thinking trying to film two videos before I go to the airport in like two hours, but here we are. The flawless filter, just every time, I'm always so pleased with the look of the skin. It really is one of those products that I think is worth the hype. For me, it's way, way more about using it to truly like highlight the face. I'd certainly mix it into a foundation as well, but because it's such a thin texture, it sits so closely on the skin. And I think that just makes for a great opportunity to use it truly as a highlight product because you know, a good highlight product I have found um, can really mesh into the skin. You're not getting like a differentiation line. For foundation, I'm using the Kogendo Aqua. This is one of the most expensive beauty products that I own and I have repurchased it like countless times. This is one of those products that if you are like getting married, I know now is the time of the year for all the weddings. Uh, like the first product I will go out and recommend to try as a wedding foundation is this foundation. The main downside is the shade range, which honestly, in my opinion, is a pretty big downside. Like I think a good shade match is important. My shade is 002. Um, I will leave the foundation down below, but I also wanted to go ahead and recommend another one, another like more bougie foundation that I really love. Where is it? Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is also an absolutely beautiful one. I was kind of deciding between the two today, like which one I wanted to go with. I haven't used Giorgio Armani in a while, so I might honestly pack it with me. So you might see this in um, a video that's coming right after this one, which is my summer makeup bag for travel. You can see the foundation did a beautiful job of covering up some of the spots I have without this looking heavy. A big part of the reason I started my channel is to find like some of the best base products. Like concealer is one of those products for me. By the way, this is not super bougie. 
Okay, hold that thought. I've been getting calls all morning. Let's answer this one together. Hello? Anyway, this isn't like the bougiest concealer out there, but it is absolutely my favorite. However, if you wanna go with something a little bit more bougie or you have tried the Kosas Revealer Concealer um, and you weren't a fan, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer is also one of my favorites. I think that's my favorite um, expensive concealer. And while I'm letting that sit, let's do a bougie brow. Which normally, I would, again, honestly not like I don't, I don't necessarily feel the need to use bougie um, eyebrow products, but this Westman Atelier uh, Bonnie Brow is really, really good. I'd like to try another shade. This is the shade Clay. It is more cool toned though, so if you like more of a cool toned brown, it's not like my perfect brow match, but I do like this formula. It performs kind of like powder in the brows, and. I'm kind of a proponent of brow powder, like a more powdered brow look being like really nice. It just offers this kind of bushiness that some other uh, makeup textures can't. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. I really did not add much to my brows at all. And it just adds this, this fluffiness that I really, really enjoy. So I honestly really, really enjoy this one from Westman Atelier. And if I don't use an hourglass highlight, I might use another Westman Atelier favorite later in the video. Now let's get into a new product to me, which is from Victoria Beckham. This is the matte bronzing brick in the shade 01. Now, Katia has really liked this for a long time. I'm excited to see uh, how it performs on me. Hoping I'm going to get like a really silky look. I think I'm just gonna mix the two colors together. And I'm just kind of pressing this in to see how it interacts with everything we have. It's very light. It's super, super natural. And I am a proponent, I'm a fan of bronzers that, that can be built up because I just don't think that bronzers that have a ton of pigment right off the bat work well for me and my complexion because I already have such a difficult time with my bronzer looking choppy in most instances with like a powder bronzer. This just very clearly to me is working. It has, it has just become a running theme for me that I have the best time with bronzers that are a little bit more like this. I, and by the way, now that we're here, talking about the bronzer, does that not look beautiful? I really, really enjoy that. It is so natural. Um, I really enjoy the shade. I'm gonna take a little bit into my crease just to start getting a little bit of definition going there. Almost like a finishing powder. It's very, very lightweight um, and pretty densely pressed, which, which if you know, you know, that is a good sign for me that I'm gonna get along with it. Another favorite of mine that has that same kind of formula is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Bronzer. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I really freaking like this. This is very pretty. First impressions are really nice for this one. I, I feel nice and sculpted and everything looks very seamless. So, you know, with bougie makeup, that's like, you got to have that. So, so far, I really, really like the complexion. I already knew, you know, the Covendo Aqua that I would love that. Now for blush, I have a couple of options here. I have the Dior Rosy Glow Rosewood Blush, which is so beautiful. And I have a feeling that's going to go really well with the rest of the look that I want to go for. So I think I'm going to go with that one, but I also have the Giorgio Armani blush in the shade 30 and that's really pretty too. But I think I'm going to go with Rosewood from Dior. My personal favorite is the cherry shade. I have talked and really, <laughs> I've talked a lot about that shade this summer because it's like my go-to. I'm using it almost every single day 
And again, you guys should check out my travel makeup bag video because I am bringing it with me on this trip. Cause again, I'm just using it a lot. But the, the reason I love this blush is very similar to the reason this blush formula, I should say, is very similar to why I'm enjoying the Victoria Beckham bronzing brick, a thin buildable formula that just looks really seamless and perfected on the skin. I think I'm just doing like a little bit of like a more rosy kind of look today. I'm just anticipating um, this new um, airbrush matte lip from Charlotte Tilbury that I wanna try out. This is the shade Pillow Talk. I also have the shade Rose Blush, which I think is the shade I wanna use. Oh my God, I just have a feeling this is gonna be really pretty, but you know, Pillow Talk is always good. But let's go ahead into the eyes. So Charlotte Tilbury sent me the Champagne Eyes to Mesmerize, which is pretty exciting. I also was sent the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster and Chiffon, which I'm really, really excited about. So I might honestly go with that. And then Victoria Beckham also came out with some new shadow sticks. So I have three shades, the shade Pecan, Caramel, as well as, is this Oyster? Yes, Oyster. Let me give you guys some swatches. So this is the shade Pecan. I think I definitely wanna use this to do a little bit of defining. And I have the shade Caramel, which is very much up my alley. You know, clearly you guys know I like these kind of taupey bronzes. And then we have Oyster, which also looks quite pretty. I don't know, usually with a stick cream shadow, I'm not as impressed with like the reflex, but we'll have to try that one out. I think for now, I'm going to use um, the shade Pecan as just something to get us going in the crease and a little bit out here on the outer edge, just to, you know, I'm obviously in a little bit of a rush. So I think this is a really good test to see how these products work when you're not like, I'm gonna take an hour to do my makeup because there's no way that I can do that right now. And if you're gonna pay for something luxury, it better perform in these uh, circumstances. So using that into the crease and then kind of concentrating it out here on the outer edge. I really like this color. It's very, very pretty. I mean, that blended out pretty seamlessly. I'm going over to this side and it's blending uh, seamlessly still and you know, it's been sitting on the eye. Uh, I really don't like a shadow stick that does not have that flexibility. That is quite often what I really dislike about eyeshadow sticks actually. Just ones that do not want to work with you. Really, really like that shade. I think I could wear mascara honestly and then like call it a day. But with all this sparkle here, how can I resist? All right, let's use Victoria Beckham Chiffon. I just, I really can't resist. Okay, another call, are you kidding me? All right, we're gonna answer this one together. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Leave me alone with my makeup, that's all I ask. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I, I think, oh wow, that's really nice. It's almost like, hmm. First of all, let me preface this with, I absolutely love Urban Decay Space Cowboy. I love it. It's one of my favorite makeup products that I own. This feels like a little bit more of like a subdued kind of grown up version of Space Cowboy. Not that Space Cowboy is like immature in any way, but you know, I do feel like this is a little bit more of like a grown up sparkle. And I think luxury beauty often kind of goes that route. Uh, that's really pretty. I would be lying though if I didn't say like, you know, there was a part of me that wanted like even more impact, like even more sparkle, but I don't think that that's like the vision of these. Um, they're, it's just like a different thing that they have going on, but 
There's the eyes. Super pretty. I think, could I do liner? I think I'm gonna skip liner. I do have a new mascara to try from Charlotte Tilbury. Where is it? Oh, it is the Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes. And this is Dream Pop. So they have like this burgundy shade that I've been seeing a lot of people talk about. But this is their, wait, is this the burgundy? Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, cool. All right, well, we're gonna try it out. Let's see how it looks on my lashes. Going ahead and curling them. Lash curlers from LH Cosmetics. I'm trying it out. I don't think I like it um, as much as my Shiseido or my Kevin Aquan. I will leave those down below. There's one thing you buy from this video, which you guys know, I will never pressure you guys to buy anything. But if there is something that you buy, other than like the Kogendo Aqua, I would say like a really, really good eyelash curler for wedding makeup is very, very important. So I'll leave my two favorites down below. Um, by the way, okay, so Pillow Talk push-up lashes. See if this like makes my green eyes pop. That's what I'm hoping for. Hmm, it's very natural. See, when I see people using this online, maybe I like, if I use the flat part. It's kind of flat in the middle and then has two edges with the bristles. The flat part adds the volume. Oh, okay, yeah. That is the vibe I'm getting. Oh, that's really pretty. And, you know, I don't know if it makes my green eyes pop more than other mascaras have, but it's definitely doing something. It it almost looks more natural and like subtle. I have a feeling that if you have more a uh, light hair, you might really, really enjoy this. Um, you know, especially if you are, I don't know, sick of like brown mascaras. This little bit of like a burgundy tint is really cool. I don't know, I wasn't expecting much from this, but like my lashes look really nice. Can certainly build it up, which I'm pleased with. Yeah, so that is the Pillow Talk push-up lashes. I, I really like that, I think it looks pretty. And I definitely think this look is giving like sophisticated, a little bit bougie. So honestly, I'm here for it. Um, and now let's go ahead. I do need to set my brows. This isn't bougie. Don't look. Don't look. I think I want to do like a little bit of highlight and add just a little bit more pop to my cheeks with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Unlocked Butterfly Palette. So pretty. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this highlight with, I don't even know what brush. Hmm. This is one of the more like soft formulas, I believe. Like the ambient lighting original like highlight formula. Oh my gosh, did you see what that just did? Like there is like more of the natural, like Charlotte Tilbury plus good skincare kind of highlight. And then that is the hourglass. It's like, it has this blur. I, I have a feeling that Again, for wedding makeup, a lot of people would lean towards this rather than this. I mean, I love this though for every day. That's like, you know, that's my thing. But I wonder if we can try like this highlight, which is a little bit, I think it's gonna give more impact, so. Oh yeah, definitely. That's more of like a highlight. Highlight, highlight. Oh, but that is, oh God, don't get it in my eye that is freaking gorgeous if you want a little bit more impact i mean this is very dreamy angel this is more like just a little bit more glamorous i'm gonna kind of even things out though and add some over here then take a little bit on my nose as well and now let's go ahead and do the lips i i really could go with either let me swatch both for you. This is the Rose Blur shade, which I, I just, I have a feeling that that's just gonna look good on my complexion, but here's Pillow Talk as well. Pillow Talk is next to it. I think Pillow Talk is pretty for every day, but I, I just gotta, I gotta try this shade. Rose Blur, not Rose Blush. So I'm gonna take it on like the middle of the lip and then 
kind of blur it out. I'm on my way, by the way, to Lake Montreal, and I feel like, is this not such a pretty little, like, French lip? Ooh, that is pretty. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm taking this lip with me. I'm also going to take the excess onto my cheeks to kind of, like, pull everything together. I don't know if you guys do that, but I highly recommend doing that in your routine. Um, it just kind of like pulls everything together. I often, if I just, I'm like, hmm, thing, everything's like, there's one thing missing, that's what I'll do. And it'll really make a big impact. And this is the completed bougie makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave everything down below for you all. I think definitely some of these products are immediately worth the price tag in my opinion with luxury makeup there are some items that just perform better. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get a beautiful makeup look with only luxury beauty. There are just certain items that I will always splurge on, if that makes sense. However, if you do want to see really, really beautiful, affordable makeup, um, should I do another video? I will leave one of them over here for you guys. I also love affordable makeup, but this bougie makeup, I mean, it's really... It's really doing its job today um, and going above and beyond actually. So thank you guys so much again for being here and I will see you in my next one.